Hi, I'm Diane Wright, the Curator of Glass and Decorative Arts here at the Toledo Museum of Art. And I have brought you into one of our modern and contemporary spaces, the Wolf Gallery, to show you this really fantastic neon work that is new to our collection. It's called Oh God, Martina 59.9, and it is by the Brooklyn-based artist, Deborah Cheresco. Deborah was inspired to make this work in part by a visit to the Pyre of Joan of Arc in France, and then also in response to the news that the U.S. national women's soccer team had filed a lawsuit against the U.S. Soccer Federation to address the really unacceptable issue of gender wage gap between uh, them and the men's soccer team. One of the many aspects of Deborah's work that I really appreciate is that she uses humor and food to make these really salient points about gender inequality and about female physicality um, that are so present in our society today. So if you look at this work up close, you'll see that she has used one of these grills that you find in American parks and placed this female figurine, this trophy uh, on the grill. It's surrounded by these neon flames and then underneath are these glass briquettes that Deborah fashioned. And in this way, she is showing that uh, the female athlete is essentially immolated on this kind of altar of male cooking, the grill. Deborah made this work for the exhibition Collaborations with Queer Voices that was organized by a Brooklyn-based collaborative called Fag Signs, whose aim it is to give a broader platform to queer artists such as Deborah. Um, her reference to the lesbian tennis player Martina Navratilova in the title of her work kind of gives additional voice to a marginalized queer community. Um, we're really thrilled to have this work in the collection at the Tulane Museum of Art, and I hope you'll have an opportunity to come by and see it.